Here we are in number 10, and if you remember, take a look at where I am, on this right-hand side, in this area, there were two rather large, long bunkers, I should call them. Well, there is no bunker here anymore. There is now a bunker up about 20 yards beyond uh, where the last bunker was and about 30 yards short of the green. Um, so those big hitters, beware. Here's that new bunker I was talking about. That's about 30, 40 yards, depending on where the pin is from the green. Be careful though, this, this grass up in here is that fine fescue, which is the taller stuff. The funny thing is the regular rough is called tall fescue, but this stuff is fine fescue, which is a taller uh, rough as well up in here. Now, if you'll notice the green, green side bunker, the one short uh, right, uh, that one's a little larger. It kind of came out a little bit further, extended a little bit further right, about the same depth. The one on the left over here is about the same size, maybe a tad bit bigger, but quite a bit more shallow. So that bunker is going to be a little easier to get out of, especially with that pin cut left that green kind of runs away from it and the back green here you can kind of see what uh the superintendent calls like a little ekg up here uh just to give you an idea there's a bunker back there that one is also just a little meaner so just be careful here you don't want a 30 or 40 yard bunker shot and you don't want to be in this fine fescue over here number 10 still a great hole one of the best greens in the state here we are number 11 and uh this is the fairway bunker you can see the scope of the of the job is pretty great. Um, so the, the, the fairway sloping away from the bunker actually goes to your left. So the ball theoretically coming in from the fairway side should not bounce into the bunker to the right, but going straight ahead, this is fairway grass and that ball will roll right into the bunker. This bunker definitely got a little bigger. Uh, also it has that little hook at the end where it kind of goes back in the, in the end there. So this bunker has definitely got a little meaner. Just try to stay away from it and all be fine. We're here on number 11 green, and uh, these bunkers are both redone. Uh, nothing too different, but what you'll notice is different is, I'm using a T here now, this got a little smarter. This mound used to be quite a bit higher. So that mound has been brought down a little bit and uh, it doesn't have as many bumps and giggles smoothed out. Also, there was a mound back left on the green kind of over here, and that's been brought down. So you could kind of see more of the green surface. Uh, the mounds don't kind of distract your attention, but uh, this is a great, uh, great change. 13 green here. The bunkers have all been redone. Not much of a change uh, versus their last design, but you can see the apex is still the same up top, but it's uh, the, the ledge and all of our bunkers, the, the face has been pushed in so it's a little steeper, but it's the same amount of elevation to get out of the bunkers. It just looks a little nastier. So uh, these are beautiful bunkers here. Here's the new bunker on number 14. Looks a little longer to me. Got that little EKG up here, but you can see Bill uh, and his crew and McDonald and Sons, they have resodded the entire area in here just to make sure the turf was all uniform and looking good. So this is uh, gonna be a little easier to play out of. Here's the fairway bunker on number 15, also known as the turn bunker, just to give you definition of that turn. Uh, this has gotten a little bit nastier. So uh, especially if you're kind of over here, um, trying to launch something out there lower you've got that that kind of tall edge up against you um you can get some interesting lies in here so my best advice is don't hit it here hit it here on number 15 green here and uh as most of you remember there used to be a large tree here um that tree was not planted originally and honestly i don't know anyone who would plant that tree there knowing it was going to get to be 70 or 80 feet tall however tall it was but the bunkers are new. This bunker is very similar, but if you remember, there used to be a mound here that was quite a bit higher. Uh, that mound has been taken down. So when you're in the bunker, you can now see the green surface where before you couldn't. This bunker has gotten a little bit more difficult because first of all, the fairway is gonna run into it. So if you're gonna hit a shot in there kind of low, you could run into it. And realistically here, you could have a 30 yard bunker shot out of this so-called green side bunker but this could be really, really challenging. The part to me that really made a big difference here on number 15, and I think it's gonna be very impactful, is the delete of the bunker that was on the left side of the green. As you know, there used to be a bunker over here. Well, that bunker's gone, and this is fairway grass. Uh, it's newly sodded, so it's still knitting in. So if you hit a ball up on top, and the pins, let's say over here, better be careful. Before these be a little rough before it went in the fairway, now that ball is going to run right from the green into the fairway 
and gonzo. You're going to have a 30 yard pitch shot before you know it. So this has become a little bit more challenging, a little more strategic is going to be need to thought of here uh, because this area has become different than it used to be. Now, the secret sauce here on this green, which by the way is my favorite green in the world because it has so many different plateaus to it, three different plateaus and different pin placements. If you're up here on the top tier, I'm here right on the elephant's nose, and the pins down there, if I put this ball straight down, that is going to run off the green. There's nothing I'm going to do under normal circumstances and conditions as far as speed. That ball is going to run off the green. So most of you do know the only play you have is to bump it up into the fringe here and then try to keep it on the green and give yourself a chance for a two putt. If the greens are fast, uh, that fringe will kind of keep it. But that fairway now extends all the way up into here. So you'll see that fairway. So even that has been taken away from us just a little bit. So if the pin's down bottom, don't hit it up top. You'll wish you didn't. Best green in the world.